go. Okay. So when you're, whenever you're ready to start using the charcoal, you're going to outline everything with a charcoal pencil. I would use a 2B. It's nice and soft and it, um, it can be blended, but it will also give you a nice outline. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just kind of shade in these darker areas that I want to be completely black with the charcoal pencil. You want to color just like you would if you were using colored pencil. You wanna take your time and work in slow, small areas. Now the inside of the eye here, I want to be lighter. So I'm just going to apply less pressure and just very carefully add the charcoal. You don't wanna leave your artwork undone by just outlining it and leaving it the gray of the paper. You want to use the charcoal to create lots of different gray values. So less pressure gives me a lighter gray, even though I'm using the same pencil. Now there's two other kinds of charcoal. There's compressed charcoal which is a little bit darker and will be pure black. And there's vine charcoal, which is a very lightweight charcoal that when you use it, it will look dark, but whenever you blend it, it will lighten up. So I'm gonna use this. This is really good for larger areas. So I'm just gonna use this around the nose. and I'm adding the charcoal in a nice solid way. I'm not going like this and trying to rub it in everywhere. You don't wanna do that. You wanna add it a little bit at a time and if you wanna blend it out, it gets really light, but you wanna blend it out as you go. And I'm just lightly touching the paper. I'm not grinding my finger into it. And I just want to keep adding charcoal until it's completely filled. Once again, you don't want to do this and then try to rub it in. That's not the way to use it. Now for the compressed charcoal, I'm going to outline my smurdle and then use that to add charcoal to my background. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend it in to get rid of the extra charcoal dust. And you can create neat effects like this, which might look good on your clouds and things. But once again, you don't wanna just scribble the chalk in and go like this. You're actually just grinding it into the paper instead of letting it sit on top. Now, once I have this all done, and I'm going nice and slow, you can take your charcoal pencil back on top of the vine charcoal that I used to create darker values. Switch back to my compressed charcoal, add that in blend it around and you can see where I added the regular pencil to create a little more depth and you'll want to do this until your entire drawing is filled with the charcoal nice and slow any of these areas that get charcoal on them or fingerprints can be erased with a kneaded eraser or with a white eraser. But you wanna shade just like you would with pencil and carefully blend the charcoal.